um, this week we're going to look at pressure. Do you know how to calculate pressure? To do this, you need to make sure you know the pressure equation. So we're going to take a little look at what's involved in the pressure equation and how to rearrange it so that you can calculate pressure and anything else you're asked in a question. So we're going to take a look at how to calculate pressure. Pressure is equal to the force divided by the area. OK, and the pressure is measured in newtons per metre squared. The force is measured in newtons and the area can be measured in metre squared. So remember that pressure is how much force is put on a certain area. Um, to learn this and to remember this, we can have a formula triangle. So we'll have force, pressure and area. OK, so we've already said that the pressure is equal to the force divided by the area. If we then cover up um, area, we can do the area is, so if we cover this one up, the area is equal to the force divided by the pressure. Then if we ignore that one, we get rid of that. OK, and if we then want to calculate the force, we can do the force is equal to the pressure times the area. So you just pick which one you need to calculate um, the answer. OK, so if we are calculating pressure, when we've got a question, we would very quickly we would very quickly draw our formula triangle out again, say force P times A. And in our question, let's give you a question, we've got a box, okay? The weight of that box is 21 newtons, okay? The area of the base of that box is 0 0.7 metres squared. So we know we want to calculate the pressure because we've got the force here and the area here. So we're going to do the pressure equals the force divided by the area. Remembering that this means divide. So the pressure is equal to 21 newtons divided by 0 0.7 meters squared. Remember in sciences you have your calculator at all times so we then tap that into our calculator and the answer we will get will be 30 newtons per meters squared. Okay now it, you'd use the different version of the equation if you were calculating the area or if you were calculating the force so you need to have a practice with some different examples but make sure you learn and remember your formula triangle for pressure. So force equals pressure times area. To learn more about In My Element, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and go and check out our website and the details are on the screen at the moment. We've got lots of free hints and tips that you'll find really useful to help your learning.